So in April of 2021, Joe Biden reversed Donald Trump's freeze of Palestinian aid. And in the next month, Anthony Blinken, the Secretary of State, he was asked by reporters about the efficacy and controls of that subsidy. How can you ensure that it's not restocking the military coffers of Hamas? And Blinken answered, no guarantees. We do our best. We circle up with our partners at the United Nations, at nations like Egypt, and we do our best to ensure that it goes to people who have real needs. But he said, this is the real world and, and there are no guarantees. So this is them basically admitting the same comment they made about the $6 billion they released to Iran. It says, oh, there's no indication they used it, but we know they use money for terror. If they know they use money for terror, Adam, then why would anybody in their right mind send money that direction? So we know how it's used. And Donald Trump cut that subsidy to zero for two reasons. Number one, he said this group is not interested in peace with Israel. Israel's interested in peace. If they're not interested in peace, we're going to put money on the table. He asked his negotiators, his peace negotiators, in the previous 71 years of this subsidy, have we ever negotiated with the money? And the negotiators said, uh, Mr. President, we always thought that would be disrespectful. So Trump cut the money. Here's the second point. Trump was right on this from a moral standpoint. You got the Palestinian Authority and the Palestine Liberation Organization. And you know what they do with $300 million a year? They do Tell pay me. for slave programs. There's public pensions to the families of their quote unquote terrorist martyrs. So when you martyr yourself in a terrorist attack, a pension goes to your family. That's money for for these martyrs. It's pay for slay. It's a gruesome practice. It's still going on. And under, uh, you know, and, and U.S. taxpayers are putting a billion dollars just in the last three years of the Biden administration, you know, into these organizations through the United Nations. 